Good afternoon. I think of the people up here on the podium, uh, except for Mimi, of course, but I'm the person who knew Margaret Bryant Pollard the longest. Maybe that says more about me than it does them. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and so I'd like to uh, reflect a little bit, maybe for the benefit of to those who occupy this wonderful building, uh, to know a little bit more about Margaret Bryant Pollard and why uh, she was so special. I saw something the other day that read like this. The older we get, the more we realize that service to others is the only way to stay happy. If we do nothing to benefit ourselves, we will do nothing to benefit. If we do nothing to benefit others, we will do nothing to benefit ourselves. Now, Margaret Bryant Pollard learned that early in life. It was my privilege to make her acquaintance. I don't know what year it was, but it was in the 70s. And uh, we worked together uh, extensively at uh, the Community Action Agency here in uh, Chad Morris, Jock Joint, Morris Chad Community Action, which of course uh, all of us probably recognize as one of those anti-poverty programs out of the uh, Johnson administration of uh, the War on Power. And so we worked together, and she uh, threw herself into helping others, helping those who could not help themselves with a passion, with a purpose, and with a considerable uh, expertise uh, in administration and getting things done. So that was my first experience with, with her. Then uh, came uh, a political experience where we worked together in on political uh, campaigns, including uh, my first one, which was a long time ago, and uh, we worked together on that. She threw herself into that with the same passion uh, that she did everything else. Margaret Bryant Pollard ran for the state senate when we had a large state senate district that included several counties. And she didn't quite make it, but she had uh, uh, a great time running. She can, uh, made a big contribution to the political life of that campaign and uh, got to know a lot of people. Then, as we all, all know, later she ran and was elected uh, to be a county commissioner uh, here in Chatham. And uh, it was my privilege to work with her on many, many things over the years that she served as a county commissioner. She served with my colleague, Senator Atwater, and uh, she was in close touch uh, with those of us who were serving at state level then. She was not bashful in seeking things that Chatham County needed and to make sure that we knew about it and make sure that we would pursue it with a proper result. She knew how to get things done and she worked at it. I want to mention her career as a health educator. She, uh, of course, uh, was an educator, a health educator, and uh, she prepared herself by her own education and training early in life to, uh, to be able to contribute in that way, and she did. She has a wonderful career there. Margaret would have loved uh, this school because it's green, because Margaret herself was green. Uh, she loved to, to uh, learn about the environmental movement, learn about new technology, learn about new things uh, which uh, uh, reduced energy. So she would have uh, really uh, um, to the architect, I would say she would have really uh, enjoyed uh, the, um, the nature of this building and to hear that uh, it would be uh, lead gold certified. So those, uh, in, in fear of exceeding my allotted time here, I will stop. But uh, I, I just wanted to give, give those reflections. Now, hers was a life of service. Some of it public service. Some of it not public service, but it was all service. She was a wonderful person. It is very, very fit that this school be uh, named for her and dedicated to her. As someone has said long ago, we've all heard, and you can easily judge the character of someone for how they treat those that could do nothing for you. And uh, that's Margaret Bryant Pollard. She was looking to do something for people who could do nothing for her. Hello. I uh, 
thank you all who allowed me to participate in this service and to reflect on the life of Margaret Bryan.